I think I found our first subject here, which is a small cobweb spider, I think. I'm not entirely sure of the species, or maybe a St. Andrew's cross. I'm using my Laoba 25mm ultra macro lens at 2.5x magnification. I'm gonna bump up the ISO to 250 because the ambient light is not that strong. I don't have any assist light, so this is gonna be quite difficult to capture. It's moving already. Try it from here. I found a small millipede here. I think it's a Portuguese millipede. Or actually, this might be the larva of the honey brown beetle. Let's see if I can capture it. Can't see much through the view from there, so it's gonna be a struggle. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna widen the aperture to f8 because the viewfinder is way too dark. Without assist light, it's extremely difficult to see what's going on. There is another specimen here, which is slightly larger. Let's see if we can capture this one. Even at f8, I can barely see anything. Using this low ultra macro lens out in the field is extremely difficult. It is so much easier to use the Canon 100mm the Rhinox. At least one shot is okay-ish. This is extremely difficult because without an assist light I can't see the subject through the viewfinder. So if you own one of these Laoba Ultra Macro lenses, definitely invest into one of those. I have the ring light, but I don't really like the ring light because it creates those really ugly specular highlights, which I'm not exactly fond of. There's a small fly here. Hopefully I won't scare it away. Oops, I just did. Maybe I'm gonna allow me to capture it from this side. When you're out in the field, especially with macro photography, most of your subjects won't be cooperative, so you gotta just roll with the punches and hope for the best and keep on pushing. All right, I think I have found a subject that I'll be able to photograph, something static, something that won't be moving. I think these are larvae of fly species. I've seen these before even on a Swiss cheese plant. I'm shooting everything at f8 at ISO 100 and 180th of a second. There's a really beautiful fly species that I am 100% sure I'm not gonna be able to capture but I'm still gonna Give it a try. I will show you the image that I took a couple months ago. It looks pretty cool with the striped body. Looks like I'm not gonna be able to capture anything. Everything is just fleeing the scene. It just started to rain, so I might have to pack up pretty quickly. Unfortunately, so far I haven't been able to capture much, but sometimes these vlogs don't go the way we envision. Anyway, if you're new here and you enjoy macro photography, feel free to check out the Xtreme Macro playlist and the macro photography playlist. I've got heaps of videos for you that you might enjoy. Anyway, I also wanted to show you some recent macros I took with the same setup the last several days. The first species is a plant hopper nymph, extremely small, I'd say not much larger than a millimeter. It was resting on this oval shaped cluster of eggs. They go through several molt cycles before they reach adulthood. This next subject is a moth species. I really love the beautiful white and gold coloration of the scales and bristle-like hairs on its body. 
The next photo is of a grass crab spider which kept moving on this blade of grass so unfortunately I couldn't create a deeper stack at the minimum magnification ratio of 2.5x. The series of the second last species is quite interesting and highlights the unique symbiotic relationship between certain ant species and plant hoppers. Plant hoppers feed on nutritious plant sap and excrete honeydew, which is rich in mineral content, amino acids, and may have stronger antibacterial properties than even floral honey. You can see that even the smallest plant hoppers in the upper right corner were excreting honeydew. In the very last shot, the crystallized structure of the dew is visible as well. I left a couple of shots of a beautiful jumping spider last. This is a garden jumping spider and I was so stoked because I finally managed to get a stacked image of one while it was feeding on a very tiny little humped spider. I also have a couple of videos of each species so definitely check those out. I think you will like them. I think I'm gonna wrap this up for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the content then please consider subscribing and see you guys very soon in the next one.